The Chieftain is the hardest tank to mark in this game, which requires a whopping 6.2 thousand damage combined every game. In this video, I'll be showing you the most epic games I've had during this marking journey, and I'll be giving you helpful tips along the way as per usual. Let's start out with a crazy situation where we cut completely cornered and had almost no chance to win, but can we turn this around somehow? Okay. Pro tip, never drive down there early on, especially with squishy tanks like the Batchet, but even with tanks like the STB and Udes, picking the enemy right in front of you is extremely risky and most of the time you won't be able to get a lot of damage despite losing a ton of HP simply because the enemy has a superior position on that balcony. The enemy realized that those guys are just stuck there and they try to push into them. These are the early signs of a lost flank, but will I be able to turn this around somehow? Watch carefully. Need to kill the C3. Uh -huh. That sucks. TVP behind us, bro. I'll try and hold. Only chance here. As our numbers were dwindling quite rapidly, the enemy prepared for their final assault. Even though the STB and the Rhino were fully overpicking me, my lovely teammate 277 wasn't really feeling all that much to engage in our fight and help me, so I was kinda alone here. It would be lovely, mate. Hiding behind me, bro. Come on, dude. You're better than this. Eventually he got to his senses and finally helped me clear up this mess that we had gotten into. Well played, friend. All that was left to do was to clear out those two from their base. I spotted. He's in the mid then. This round is a textbook example on how to play Haldan against multiple tanks in a losing situation. But can we do tanky damage here? Intuition is a very important skill that you should have on all your tanks. It lets you switch to HE in no time and deal huge damage to those squishy targets. Oh, bro, sorry. I wanna... By the way, check this M48 out. I barely touched him since I wanted to get next to the red line to have a better angle. But just look how he reacts. My fault. And now you're gonna literally... Yeah. Oh my god, man. Just check out how I'm able to hold all these tanks with a 60 DP, but Wargaming thinks this tank is not broken enough to get nerfed. Two guys in a dream. If you're wondering how I'm hitting all these cupola shots, well, manipulated RNG of course, but on a serious note, do check out my aiming video, it will definitely help you improve and make you hit those cupolas more reliably. Links in the description. Whenever you are fighting in a Haldan situation, always make sure to move your turrets so your cupola is not staying stationary, making it harder for the enemy tanks to hit it. It works on all tanks. Oh, it's gonna hurt. I have 13 shells, man. Do you think this video is still there, yet? For some odd reason, the enemy starts pushing in kind of weirdly and the enemy VZ stayed at the windmill to my demise. You need to kill this easy man. Oh yeah, you can hit him down. Aha! If I can successfully clear this projecto out fast, that gives me a chance to flank around and support my team with a crossfire from the D-line here. They have a Manti core left. We also have a Manti though. I wanna shoot this FP. Oh, oh my god, did he get spotted with the projecto? What is that timing? 
kind of good to say unlucky 10k is still possible yeah but they're gonna cap man and they have a manticore if they didn't have the manticore to drop go from behind since i only had eight shells left there was no way i could win this anymore with the amount of hp the enemy had but i still try getting 10k damage out of this no choice but i have to face the fe oh my god look at that type dude when i help you bro i really do but Visible. My god. <laughs> yes, it is there. Well, I mean, yeah, that could have been insane, bro, that game. Another great early game damage position is here on Paris. You can get one shot for free almost every game if you are driving a faster tank. Just peek at the corner and aim down the street. Side scraping here is super tedious, you need to be extremely careful with how you angle your tank since multiple opponents will be aiming at you. For a tank like the S Concord E5, this is a perfect situation due to your high DPM that you can use to completely butcher your enemies. Once they stop picking you, it is time to head down under the bridge and start soft picking enemy tanks that you know shot. Usually if they have multiple tanks aiming at you, it requires extremely delicate movements to not lose HP, but this time they played very much in the back and it was time we started clearing them out deeper. To climb this guy is blocking the street here what is your plan 50 tp you're a one shot this game might seem long one looking at the hp panels but trust me it is far from it if our backline dies you can get encircled within seconds and then it will be very hard to get out of the situation so all we have to do is break through their lines here to avoid the encirclement Oh. Same speed as the ST being a chieftain, balanced, turbo is really balanced, boys. Rushing into this position with most tanks is paramount in doing copious amounts of early game damage, just look at this. In terms of winning flanks, it is very important to always target the autoloaders first, especially a T-57 Heavy who has insane firepower at close range. The reason I'm not killing him is because he's dead anyway, and since I was going for the gun mark, I need to pump out 6.2 thousand damage every single game, and shooting a full HP target is better in this case. Push those two now, really fast, we need to get tracking shots. Oh, what is that? Pushing this side is not recommended because you'll be driving through the open for a lengthy amount of time, but since our base was getting capped and there was a chance the game would be over in a very short time, I decided that my best chance to deal damage and potentially get spotting is to just push here. I need to get here ASAP to this corner, because at the moment the Jagdpanzer has a shot on us. I'll push the Jagdpanzer instead. Not even there. Oh. Need to go here, there's more HP here. I need to get a track on this guy. Here I make a grand mistake. I had to finish the Jagdpanzer, but I shoot the Manti instead, resulting in me taking a huge shot from his long schlong. What? This position is pretty good for any kind of tank with a turret armor. Be prepared for a lot of bounces though, as it is mostly cupola sniping unless someone peeks out too much. That's lucky. Oh, what the f... <laughs> Mouse arrives. I 
Any, anyone see where the shell landed, boys? So far so good. This position is so good. And since we are here, let me tell you about this weak spot the mouse has. When he angles his turret like this, you can easily pan his turret, you just gotta hit the coaxial gun. Come on, that's a weak spot, man. That little gun there, look, fully green. Come on, man, I cannot be that unlucky. Doing missions, huh? Oh, yeah. Beautiful, man. Obviously, we have nobody on that side because we need to stack everybody on the 1 2 line, and now the complete zero line is empty. Uh, we need to push the right side now, insta. Spot campers. And we know the SU is on the other side. I don't know. I think the Scorpion G is up there. Yes. Ooh. Fast. Oh. Push this guy here. You moved up. To go for the SU post loading pass and the sharpie tour. There's the Lorraine. I'm gonna find the shark. He was here last time. I think he's gonna be like A's A line. He had a nice hide and seek. Berlin is an insanely bad map for most tanks, unless you're playing a Haldan piece like the S-Kong, Soviet heavies, or the Chief in this case. Stay tuned because this is also going to be a super close battle. We have so many tanks on this side, yet the enemy has more, and they have already flanked us on the right, which definitely complicates things. Point we need to side scrape. Oh, this guy's pushing now. <laughs> That's like what three hundred effective. We need to deal with the double IS-7 threat soon. I'm gonna go for the IS-7s here. We have enough HP to protect inside. As you can see, my aim was quite trash this whole game, hoping to find angles that never existed in the first place. Okay, this guy is double tricked. Uh-huh. Yeah, I have six shells left. Rest is HE. Just go with the mouse, man. We're, we're gonna kill them, dude. At this point, the other side had long been lost, so it was time for me to try and protect us from getting flanked in the back. Please don't YOLO into this. Please. Please don't YOLO into the C4. We have a chance to win this. Okay. Oh, well. Whenever you are fighting a tank while face hacking each other, always make sure to try and put your gun into his, thus giving you a chance to fully absorb those shells and grant you a shot advantage over him. Gosh. Mm, this is just bad now. Coming to this side on Westfield almost always gives you free early game damage, so take advantage of it. He's got two repair keys, the 6 DP.
Now I'm aiming well, dude. I'm gonna shoot this E hundred. Gonna start picking those guys, man. I'm uh, wasting my time here. Doing jack shit. We have an opening here. There's no high alpha TD anymore. Everything is spotted. Only the VZ can shoot us, but in hindsight, it doesn't matter. I mean, this guy matters, of course. This 705A whoever picks for me, but in hindsight, nothing else really matters. I need to get a tracking shot, but they just keep repairing. Waste of time, he's just hiding there. But now they have two light tanks and 10,000 medium tanks in good positions, which are really gonna be hard to push. But I have to push, man, because we need to spot something so this game is not completely wasted. Just the BR. I'm just gonna cap, man. I wanna push just, I wanna, I wanna get under. He's on the right side with the STB. Nice, there's the STB. Kills the S Kong. Okay, we need to we need to get to that side. If I stay on this side, I'm dead because the bear is gonna outspot me. This game we played well. If, they, if we would have played the same way last game. Now let's see if I've learned from my past mistakes on Burning and I can I finally have a great round on this map. Impressive. I think I'm trying his luck here. Okay. Big paid actor, man. I'm going to track him, but my finger slipped. Did he? Did he just spam me in that? What? Since people stopped picking in front of me, it was time for me to push the concept. That's a good game. About three more shots, we could have done 10k. Come on, man. Thank you. Okay. Hi, YouTube. Easy three marks on Chief. It would have not been possible with a corrupted RNG provided by WG. See you in the comments. Yeah, Yakama. Take this golden piece of advice. Learn from Anakin's mistake and do not let the enemy team take the higher ground, even if you're confronted by a Chief. The STP and the S-Kong are completely misplaying this since I'm getting easy shots at them from above and they can barely see my cupola. Whereas if they would have overpicked me, they could have easily DP on my lower plate. Pushing the other side way too fast, man. Nobody the red line need to go from this side. This would be good. Oh, bro.
Fuck yeah, man. Yes. Stone Cold.